much you supermodels love cartoonists, but I promise to another. <clears throat> Yahoo! Hello! Time to get up. Very important day. Wakey, wakey. Oh, I hate to do this. No, I don't. <laughs> Why did you do that? You did that because it's trash night. Hardly. Uh, it's some sort of holiday. It's... Oh, no! That's today? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Be sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll have them in a jiff. All right, Garfield. Your birthday lasagnas are ready. <laughs> oh, this is great, Garfield. I'm going to edit this into my lasagna home video montage. <laughs> I've been shortchanged. There, I've added the new footage. I have over six hours of video of Garfield eating lasagna. Well, it's not like he does anything else. <clears throat> Complaint. Is something wrong, Garfield? Recap demand. <laughs> What is it? I cooked you one lasagna for every year old you are. <gasps> I'm one short? I'm one short? <laughs> and I don't have the ingredients to make another birthday lasagna. Uh, I'm going to the market. I'll be right back. <laughs> While he's gone, I'm going to put the time to good use. I'm going to do something constructive. <sighs> I'm going to start dreaming about it For Zordnix until we reach the invasion planet, Exalted Leader. Cool. Did you send for Ricotta? Here he is, Exalted Leader. Ricotta, I have a mission of vital importance for you. I am to lead the attack on the invasion planet, Exalted Leader. No, this is more important. Let me show you. Our scanners have taken thousands of images of the invasion planet, and we see nothing that can possibly prevent us from invading and making its people our slaves, except possibly for this. Who are those people? We do not know. Apparently, they are from a planet that is a neighbor to ours. They obviously travel to the planet we intend to invade. What happened to them? The spy images do not show that. We need to know what we are facing. I believe I know that a person. I could be wrong, but I think that is my Uncle Amosi. Go ahead to the invasion planet. Go to where that orange creature is and find out what happened to those people. Take this. It will measure the brain power of those you encounter. Right away, exalted Alida. This is Ricotta. I am on my way to scout the invasion planet. I will report the back. Agent Ricotta reporting. I'm on the invasion planet. As all, I will. <laughs> Ah! 
Measuring the brain power of a local creature I encounter. Brain measure is uh, zero. I will seek out the orange creature. Located the orange creature. It appears to be in a state of deep suspended animation. This says the carbuckle's back. <gasps> it's a cult. I must hide. Oh, hope he has my last lasagna ready. Ah, oh, there it is. something. <laughs> Whoa. Did you? That is... What was the... Did you see my lasagna run past this way? Uh -uh. What it did? My lasagna had legs, and then it ran, and it talked, and then it asked me if it was, and then it had like a mouth, and it was talking, and it went like, it ran! You believe me, don't you, Odie? Uh -uh. Well, that's okay, I don't believe me either. You are satisfied that the orange creature will be no threat? I am. I do not know what he did to vanquish the people in those images, but I know I was able to handle him. Hmm? Then the invasion shall commence. All these years, and I didn't know lasagna could talk. Why didn't it say something? What if it isn't just lasagna? What if ravioli can talk? What if cannoli tries to beat me up? And the garlic bread? I'll starve. Hold on, boy. I can't understand you. Please note, Odie is less articulate than baked lasagna. What is it? Something out there? They're coming for me. I've got to hide. That creature sees him. If I had an ounce of courage, I'd go out there and save my friend Odie. Good thing for me, I don't have an ounce of courage. Fine work, Ricotta. Now we just need to neutralize that orange creature. You say he will be easy to defeat. Very easy, exalted leader. Just as soon as we find him. He's here somewhere. We will find that orange creature and we will destroy him. What did I ever do to lasagna? Besides eating thousands of them. There is no sign of the orange creature in here. Let's check all the closets. Did you notice something? Ricotta, I heard. Is something wrong? This is silly. I can't just hide in here for the rest of my life. Yes, I can. No, I can't. John? Odie? Talking lasagna? Odie! 
It's me they want. Might as well get it over with. The humanity! Sounds like they're in John's room. I thought you said it would be easy to defeat Ricotta. I thought it would be. Guys, oh. it's time to end this. I don't know what happened, but I'm sure glad they're gone. Yeah, but you never know what happened. They were dangerous and scary and destructive. But boy, they sure look delicious. Garfield, I'm back. I knew you wouldn't want to wait until I cooked it, so I stopped off at Vito's and got you that extra birthday lasagna. Oh, no, no, take it away. It might talk to me. It might, it might. Ah! Gee. I always thought Vito was a pretty good cook. Don't come back until you learn to stop waking me up. Morning, Garfield. Morning, Squeak. Whoever invented the alarm clock should be dragged into the street and beaten. Hi again, Garfield. Hi again, Squeak. Nah, that's too good for him. Instead, they should make him sleep with an alarm clock nearby. Hi one more time, Garfield. Hi one more time, Squeak. I'm getting an awful lot of squeak this morning. I'll figure out what's going on after breakfast. Uh, make that after lunch. seem to have a mouse convention in progress. Oh well, it's not my problem. <laughs> this is my problem. Squeak! You squeak? <clears throat> Look at what's in my dish. There's nothing in your dish. My point exactly. Please, Garfield, old pal, old friend, please be understanding. You ate my breakfast. All these mice, my cousins and uncles and nephews, they had no place else to go. <laughs> they all lived in that big house down the block that just got torn down. You ate my breakfast. I couldn't just turn them away. I couldn't just send them out into the cold, cruel snow. It's 92 degrees outside, and you still ate my breakfast. Look, Garfield, if you let us stay, we'll behave. We can help out, do things for you, <laughs> be your servants. Servants? Servants would be nice. From now on, I'd like my grapes peeled. Peeled? Peeled. 
And uh, take out the seeds? Uh, seeds? Oh. Ah, this is the life. But I don't think I could take any more than, oh, say about 20, 30 years of it. <laughs> or maybe 20 or 30 seconds. Quick, everyone, hide. Nimsky. Garfield, <gasps> we're back. <sighs> Unfortunately. What's the matter? If John finds out the house is full of mice, he'll expect me to. Oh, got it. Oh, <gasps> there you are, Garfield. Looks like everything's been peaceful while we were away. Yeah, sure looks that way. Hey, have that thing sanitized for my protection. Huh? When I'm away, I always feel secure knowing you are watching the house, Garfield. I feel good when you're away, too. I know there won't be any intruders or accidents or mice, especially mice. No, nope. you're not smelling a mouse. There isn't a mouse within 20 miles of here. Get your nose fixed. All that walking around Odie and I did, I just kept thinking how good it would be to get home and just to relax in my home here, knowing it's free from mice. Because as you know, there's nothing that bothers me more than mice in my house. First, something to eat. It was rough under there. I was just going to... Oh. Maybe later we'll order in from Lasagna Palace Whoa. and then... Garfield? Is that a mouse? Mouse? What mouse? In your hand. That is a mouse. Eh? What, this? Oh, <laughs> make like you're a toy. <laughs> Oh no, this is a happy, fun kitty toy thingy, Mabob. Oh, it's just a kitty toy thingy, Mabob. Squeak, squeak. Well, I guess it's cute. I need to get something to eat. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Garfield said we should hide. Oh. <gasps> Garfield, did you eat all my crackers? Oh, we better get out of here. What are you going to do about this? <laughs> I have mice in my cupboard! <laughs> I have mice in my silverware drawer! I even have mice in my sink! Ah, uh, do you mind? I'm taking a bath here. Garfield! Oh, my. Mice everywhere. How did that happen? I had no idea. Well, I have to go water my ferns. No, you don't. Come with me. I saw this website a few weeks ago and bookmarked it. It's for a service called Rat Tater Pest. Rat Tater Pest? Pay attention. Uh, couldn't we go to one of those websites where you can order pizza delivered? Mouse problem in your house? Then why not call Rat Tater Pest? Our trained specialists will rush to your home where they will stop at nothing. <laughs> the mouse or rat hasn't lived who can defy the might of Rat Tater Pest. <laughs> they can run, they can hide like the rodents they are, but they can never get away! <laughs> Rat Tater Pest, a mouse's worst nightmare. Click here to order our service. I'm not going to click. Now. Because they're expensive and getting rid of mice is your job. I mean, you are the cat around here. <laughs> you are going to get rid of these mice. Every last one of them. Uh. <laughs> I'm going out for a while. Come on, Odie. If there's a single mouse here when I get back, I'm calling in Rat Tater Pest. And I'm deducting the cost of them from my cat food budget. You won't see lasagna in this house for years. 
for years. The barbarian. Why doesn't he just cut off my oxygen? <laughs> guys, you gotta leave here. Guys, guys, yoo -hoo. Calling all mice, calling all mice. Squeak! Hey, now that once his name is gone, we have the house to ourselves. No, 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 you gotta leave. All of you, right this minute, if not sooner. No way. This is our new home. Wow! <laughs> 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 Boo! <laughs> you think we're gonna run from that? Other cats scare mice. Other cats eat mice. You gonna start eating mice, Garfield? <laughs> the very idea of it. Then it looks like we're here to stay. It's no use. It's not in my blood. What are we gonna do? I'll lose my lasagna for at least a year. John will call that horrible rat-tater pest. Oh, that service thing on the internet, that terrible rat-tater pest. I know. Come on, Squeak. I have to show you something. Hey, I was making a sandwich. Later, this is more important. Rat-tater pest, a mouse's worst nightmare. Click here to order our service. This is awful. Garfield, you wouldn't. You're right, I wouldn't. But John would, and will, unless... Unless what? Unless you go along with my plan. Anything, anything. Get all the mice together. We're gonna have to rehearse before John returns. Garfield, we're back. Are the mice gone yet? Okay, I guess the mice aren't gone yet. That's it! I'm calling Rat Tater Pest! You handled that so well. Well, naturally. I feel like you deserve a reward, but I have no idea what it should be. Oh, Luigi's Lasagna Palace we deliver. Good idea, Garfield. I'll call and have them deliver hot lasagna. Hey, you do that again and you'll wind up in the bag with them. Garfield! Lasagna's here! Garfield! Hurry, everyone in. Thanks for everything, Garfield. Don't mention it. I hope you're happy living at Luigi's. How could we not be? All the lasagna we can eat. See ya! <laughs> All the lasagna they can eat. Garfield! Lasagna! lasagna. Hmm, funny. That usually gets him here in under three seconds. Oh, Luigi! Luigi, where are you? Oh, there you are! Luigi, you have to do something! You have to call an exterminator to get rid of this mice! Never mind the mice! I need an exterminator to get rid of him! <laughs> I think I'm gonna like it here.
John always did have a taste for the really serious intellectual programming. We'll be back with more of Say a Kind of Tree and we hit you with a lemon ring pie after these news headlines. Today is the first day of the city's new dog licensing law. Any dog not wearing a license will be presumed a stray and taken to the dog pound. Oh, I almost forgot about that. I got Odie a license and I have to put it on him. In other news, traffic is stalled on the coast highway due to an accident. Workers said cars were blocked when a collision knocked down a large elm tree. I know you don't like it, but it's for your own good. If they catch you without it, they'll haul you off to the pound. Oh, that would be just awful. No, even I'm not that rotten. There. Now, I'm going back to my favorite show, Say a Kind of Tree, and we'll hit you with a lemon meringue pie. Just in a sense of good taste. No. Ah. Hope I'm not missing much. <sighs> I gotta get down here where I can just get some... Oh, that feels good. No, I don't want to throw the stick. No, I don't want to throw the ball. In fact, I want to throw the ball even less than I wanted to throw the stick. No, I don't want to throw the doggy toy. As hard as it may be to believe, I want to throw the doggy toy even less than I wanted to throw the stick or the ball. But you know what I do want to throw? You had to ask. Uh, oh, his license came off. He's out there where they grab dogs that don't have licenses and take them to the pound. Not my problem. <laughs> License. You won't get away from me, dog. Hey, watch it. Hey. Sorry, Pooch, but it's the law. Oh, I'm not asleep. Why can't I sleep? It can't be because I feel guilty about Odie out there without his dog license. It's not my fault it fell off when I threw him out the window. So why can't I sleep? Well, if I can't sleep, I might as well eat. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> oh, this is so oh, oh, This is good. Oh, 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 it hurts. Oh, oh, can't get my breath. <laughs> Mushroom omelet. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Fazblatt. I checked with the judges, and they say mushroom omelet is not the name of a tree, so we cannot hit you with a lemon meringue pie. But now it's time for our home game, where one lucky viewer will get to play Say a Kind of Tree and we hit you with a lemon meringue pie. Home game? You mean someone will be hit with a lemon meringue pie just for saying, oh, I don't know, spruce? I'll get it. Uh, yes? Oh, great. You finally won something and it's that. I'll get dinner on the table. You call Odie. Odie. Well, no Odie, let's eat. Oh, 
where's Odie? I'm not serving dinner until Odie is at the table. But that's not fair. I'm here. I'm hungry. I'm... I'm serious, Garfield. No dinner until Odie is at the table. And now go out and find him. But I'm... I'm... I'm going to find him. Odie, Odie, Yahoo, Odie, Odie, Odie. Attention, brainless mutt. If you're looking for your dog, I saw him get taken off to the pound. I was afraid of that. <laughs> Well, this is it. I'm actually walking into a building full of dogs. Voluntarily. Sorry, cat. You see that sign? That means no cats allowed. Lucky, Mom. Someone threw away a perfectly good pussy cat. <laughs> they probably thought he was too fat. <coughs> hey, you're not exactly supermodel material yourself, lady. <laughs> All right. I didn't want to resort to this, but it may be the only way to get this license back on Odie. Okay, let's see if I can pass for a dog. <laughs> arf, arf, woof, woof. Nah, I don't look stupid enough. Man, how do dogs do this stupid stuff all day? Oh, wow. Well. Arf, yip, 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 yip. Bark, de bark. Isn't it a little late to be going out looking for strays? I need one more catch to make my quota for today, Pete. Ahem. <clears throat> bark, bark. Stray dog with no license. Woof and double woof. <laughs> gotcha! <clears throat> you got me. Okay, doggy. In here with ya. Your situation is not hopeless, Odie. Huh? By day, he looks like an ordinary, brainless, too dumb to do anything useful dog. But then, when there's trouble, he instantly transforms himself into Super Garfield, 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 Garfield. Whoa, hey, stop. Put that tongue back where you found it. Hell, stop. Stop or I'll leave you here, Odie. Better. Now then, you'll need this to get out. How will I get out? Leave it to me. First, you make some noise. Hey, hey, what's all the racket? What's... Hey, he has a license on. Let me get a better look at that. Sean Arbuckle. And there's an address. I was sure you didn't have one when I picked you up. <sighs> I better get you back to Mr. Arbuckle right away and apologize. Let me out. I shouldn't be in here. Hello? <laughs> meow. Meow, meow. See you later, Zal. Meow. Meow, meow. Meow. A cat? How did a cat get in here? You shouldn't be in here, cat. True. Open the door and let me out. I'm gonna open the door and let you out. Just as soon as Al gets back. <laughs> he has the only key. Man, you can't leave me here like some... some dog. I'm not a dog. <laughs> Dogs are ugly. Dogs are disgusting. <laughs> Stupid, worthless creatures. Dogs are idiots. <laughs> Dogs are all over the place. They're all around me. They're, they're, I, I didn't mean what I said. I was talking about other dogs. You know, I, uh, I love dogs. In fact, I am a dog. See? A uh, dog. 
Bow wow. Ruff, ruff, ruff. You're not buying this for a second, are you? Look, I'd like to take this opportunity to make a sincere apology. I'm really sorry about this, Mr. Albuckle. Oh, that's okay. Thanks for bringing my dog home. So that's where you were, Odie. Which brings us to the next question. Where's Garfield? <laughs> yeah, knowing him, he's probably out somewhere having a wonderful time. Ouch! these serious intellectual debate programs. I just called my dentist. He said if I come right over, he can squeeze me in and take care of this toothache. I'm so lucky. If you were so lucky, you wouldn't have a toothache. Since my car's in the shop, I'm gonna have to walk there. If you were so lucky, your car wouldn't be in the shop. See you later. We'll be back with more of our serious intellectual debate program after this news break. Police report yet another daring burglary by Silent Jack a criminal who has been working on the west side of the city. This is the west side of the city. Silent Jack is said to be extremely dangerous. Citizens are warned to lock their doors and remain alert. Odie, we have to lock our doors and remain alert. Silent Jack is at large. Silent Jack is said to be extremely dangerous. Hey. Now we're completely secure and I won't worry one bit about Silent Jack breaking in here. Not one bit. <laughs> but just in case. Gotta make sure everything's locked so Silent Jack can't get in. <laughs> or even Santa Claus. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll open it up for Santa. <laughs> Now you just eat nothing but mush and clear soups for the next few months and you'll be fine. Oh, thanks, Doctor. What's this? Oh, Mr. Arbuckle must have dropped his keys. Uh -uh. Oh, well, he'll realize he's missing them and he'll come right back for them, I'm sure. Laura? Laura? Where are you, Laura? Laura? The stranger in the attic gutter. 
Is it possible I'm alone I'm in the house? house? Alone with a stranger in the attic? You're toast, fella. I should have known when he rang the doorbell. Laura wouldn't have done that. Laura has a key. That was his way of finding out if I was home. Odie, it's only a movie. By the way, you look better from this angle. You're worried about Silent Jack? Oh, that's right. There's nothing to worry about. There are thousands of homes. What are the chances he'd pick ours to rob? <gasps> what are we worried about? It's just John. But John wouldn't ring the doorbell. John has a key. You know who doesn't have a key? Silent Jack doesn't have a key. Come in! I forgot my key! You're right. That doesn't sound a bit like John. Right again. It doesn't look a bit like John. Not with that bulging cheek and that thing on his head. Oh. Wait. We're in luck, Odie. He's going away. We're safe. Oh, <laughs> Me? Scared? <laughs> not for a second. I'm not afraid of anything. Okay. Apart from the thought of Nermal moving in with this, I'm not afraid of anything. <gasps> He's trying to get in the back door. Odie, pull yourself together. This calls for heroic action. Yeah. It calls for bravery and courage. Yeah. And since you're the watchdog around here, I nominate you. <laughs> Coward, chicken, you have all the courage of a mouse. Hey, on behalf of myself and all my relatives, I resent that remark. Squeak, what are you doing here besides eating cheese? Yeah, that's right. A mouse sitting eating cheese. What are the odds? No, I mean, what are you doing here when Silent Jack the burglar's trying to break in? Ah, I don't worry about those guys. They never steal cheese. Squeak, what do I do? One word. Mousetrap. Mousetrap? Where am I going to get a mousetrap? Behind the refrigerator. That's where people put mouse traps. Mouse trap. Good idea. <laughs> what a ghastly noise. Silent Jack isn't very silent. <laughs> What's so funny? I always enjoy it when a human gets caught in one of those. I'm afraid it's not going to be enough to stop him. <laughs> and I'm right. What's he up to? He's trying to get in upstairs. How do we stop him? Another mouse trap? I know. Mm. Uh. Uh. 
John stored this up here because it was too powerful to use. Sorry for him, Odie. Silent Jack is a treacherous, dangerous criminal. But we got him. No, we don't got him. He's coming back for more. You can't stop Silent Jack that way. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna assemble a team of experts, a squadron of fearless and skilled operatives. Will you settle for a puppy and a mouse? Okay, come on. Men, and I call you men even though you're a puppy and a mouse, the enemy is out there. If we're gonna stop him from getting in here, we need a plan. You got one? I think so. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Roller skate in place, Garfield. Check. How you doing with the truck, Odie? <laughs> Check. Everything's in place, let him in. Uh, Roger. Not carry a way in. We did it! We caught Silent Jack! Only the most dangerous criminal around. Get out of here! Be silent, Silent Jack. We're not letting you out. Garfield, it's me, John! Quiet! <laughs> it doesn't sound anything like John. I know John's voice. That sounded nothing like... <laughs> John! Huh. Hello. We did a good job protecting the house, Odie. <gasps> if Silent Jack comes around here, he's in for a big surprise. Unless, of course, he was here while we were all down in the basement. Aww. So John decided to drop me off at this all-you-can-eat restaurant. He said, I'll be back when you've had enough to eat. He came back three weeks later, which was fine because by then it was out of business and they'd turned the building into a discount shoe store. <laughs> Garfield, you tell the best stories. Let's have another one. No, not now. It's time for my nap. How do you know, Garfield? You're not wearing a watch. I don't need a watch. It's always time for a nap. We'll see you later, Garfield. Wait! I want another story! <sighs> Some other time, Nermal. Garfield, I'm not leaving until you tell me another story. What do you think of that? <laughs> That's what I think of that. Hey, get off my head! <gasps> Who are you? What were you doing hiding down there? 
Quick, hide! She's coming! Who's coming? <gasps> it's okay. He didn't see me. Can I trust you? What's your name? Normal cat. Cutest kitten in the whole wide world. Can you prove it? Can't you tell? Okay, I'll have to take the chance. They call me Agent X. I'm a grade AAA undercover secret agent. Wow! A secret agent! Not so loud. That guy you went by, he's part of a devious international plot to destroy mankind. You've got to help me hide. Here he comes again, quick! There you are. Wrong cat. Sorry. <laughs> Come on! You've got to hide me before it comes back! Garfield! I have a grade AAA undercover secret agent here. Can I hide him in your tool shed? Uh, be my guest. Thanks, Garfield! They'll never find you in here. This'll do, but what I really need now is some dinner. I have to keep my strength up if I'm gonna save all of mankind. Well, I'll go find you some dinner. I'm making one of Garfield's favorite dinners, Odie. I'll leave it here to cool while I bring in the mail. John has dinner ready. That's a new world's record even for him. Gone in 15 seconds. You've already eaten, Garfield. I had? I missed it. Guess I ate so fast I didn't notice. Hope it was tasty. It's coming from the shed. Then, the enemy spies were about to sink Australia. Who are you? <gasps> and why did you eat my dinner? Which I thought for a minute I'd eaten, but I didn't. Don't bother answering. I don't care who you are or why you did it. Just get out. You can't throw him out, Garfield. He's a secret agent, and he's trying to prevent the destruction of all mankind. I guess we have to save mankind. Mankind makes pizzas. It's getting dark. Okay, he can stay, but just for tonight. <sighs> I'd better get up. I have a full day of eating to get done before dinner time. Guess I'll start my morning with a great big bowl full of Where's my great big bull? I have an awful suspicion where my great big bull is. So they ran me off the road, off the thousand foot cliff. Wow, how did you get away, Agent X? Fortunately, I was wearing my fake fur and under it, I always have on a parachute. You are so clever, Agent X. Why are you listening to him? Because he's so brave. He's been so many places, done so many things. I've been places, I've done things. <laughs> really, Garfield? Where have you been? What have you done? <laughs> well, I've... Uh, I've slept in the living room, I've eaten lasagna, I've slept in the den, I've eaten ravioli, I've slept out back in the hammock. I think Agent X is the most fascinating brave male I've ever met. <gasps> Did I tell you all about the time I was aboard that runaway train? The enemy spies were trained pickpockets. And they were all over Australia. Hey, Squeak. I thought secret agents were supposed to keep things secret and not tell everybody. Do you mind, Garfield? I'm trying to hear the story. Excuse me. I didn't mean to interrupt this meeting of the Agent X fan club. 
I didn't mean to ignore you, Garfield. It's just that Agent X is so interesting. He's getting too much attention, and worse, too much of my food. No, I haven't seen him. But I've got your number here. If I see this gray cat, I'll call you. Thanks very much. That's him. That's Agent X, all right. This calls for a little secret agenting of my own. Hey, wait up! I got shorter legs than you! He went into this house. I'll bet this is the enemy spy's secret headquarters. Be careful. They may have atomic super weapons or something. That person. That must be their leader. Someone dangerous and powerful and... Any luck? None, I'm afraid. I passed out the photos to every home for a half a mile around. No one's seen them. I'm sorry, Granny. I'm afraid there's no sign of him. Oh, I'm not giving up hope. He'll come back to me. I know he will. We can get you another pet cat. I don't want another cat. <laughs> <gasps> oh, I want my Fluffykins. Fluffykins? <laughs> that secret agent is a secret fraud. He's just a runaway house pet. I'm gonna blow his cover and tell his admirers what he really is. What if they don't believe you? That's where I may need your help. I have an idea. Now listen. Here's what we're gonna do. So Seen from the moon, the Earth is the most beautiful sight I've ever seen. Or I thought it was, until I saw your eyes, lovely Arlene. Stop! Time out! Stop the music! Agent X is a fake. His real name is Fluffykin. He's a house cat from over on Crescent Avenue. Uh-oh. Uh, that's my cover. All us secret agents have cover stories. I pretend to be an ordinary house cat. Shame on you, Garfield. <gasps> Being jealous like that. Jealous? Me? No, no. <sighs> I'm glad he's really a secret agent. I mean, uh, I wouldn't want to be the one to face Mr. Tig. <gasps> Who's Mr. Tig? Mr. Tig is the most famous evil spy of them all. I'm not worried about Mr. Tig. My sources tell me Mr. Tig is several continents away from here. Oh, yeah? Then who's that? Don't worry, Agent X. You can defeat him. Yeah! Like he defeated those undercover ninjas he told us about. So, at last we meet face to face, <gasps> Agent X. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, you got it all wrong. <laughs> I'm not Agent X. Uh, my name is Fluffykins. Nice try, Agent X. But I know it is you. You forced me to use uh, superior fighting skills. Hiya! Yeah! Agent X, I'm not! Come back here, you cowardly spy! We have to go help him. You all stay here, I'll help him. Gee, Garfield's braver than I thought. No, no, I'm not a secret agent. My name is Fluffy Kids. Okay, I'll make you a deal, Fluff. You go back to Granny and I'll take care of Mr. Tig here. And I won't tell your adoring public what a fake you are. It's a deal. Oh! I'm getting out of the secret agent business. It's not safe. Tell me about it. You gonna tell everyone what a phony he was? Uh, why spoil it for everyone? Mr. Tig fled in his top secret jet, and Agent X went after him. He yelled to me, that it might be years before we ever saw him again. 
But he's so brave. But you're pretty brave too, Garfield. Yeah. Well, I did have to help Agent X recharge his laser rays. Fortunately, I had a fresh uh, set of batteries in the house. Then 12 ninjas tried to stop me. any of that since, uh, well, about four o'clock. Come on, Pookie, supper time. <laughs> don't worry. If you don't want yours, I'll eat it. <laughs> One piping hot lasagna. <laughs> huh, I got it. I got it. Oh. I Got it. Boy, I thought you couldn't look any cuter. But add marinara sauce, melted cheese to anything, and it looks better. Sorry, Garfield. I got your toy dirty. <gasps> Pookie is not a toy. Pookie is a best friend who just happens to be made of mostly cloth. Here, you got him messy, you clean him. <laughs> He better be as fluffy and adorable as always. He'll be done any minute now. He's done. Here he is. What have you done to him? He looks like a porcupine watching a horror movie. Relax, Garfield. He just needs to be dried overnight. Tomorrow morning, he'll be his old self again. Tomorrow morning? You're a big cat, Garfield. You can sleep without Pookie for one night. Nah. Oh, ho, ho. He's right. I can do without Pookie for one night. Boy, I hope he's okay out there. On the clothesline, I'm sure he's all right. What am I worried about? He's fine. <laughs> Come on, Oatster. Let's bring Pookie in so he can have breakfast with us. He's gone! Pookie's gone! Pookie, where are you? Pookie, where are you? Don't worry, Pookie. I'll find you. Pookie's not in there. Pookie's not in there. Pookie's not down there. Huh? I'm 
I'm sorry Pookie disappeared, Garfield. Well, you ought to be. When I saw he was missing, I ran out and bought you a new little friend. I hope you like him. Not as cute as Pookie. I thought you might not like that one, so I also got this one. Yeah. Looks too much like normal. Huh? One more. It's the latest thing. The Teddytron 2000, a fully robotic, state-of-the-art digital teddy bear. It's not as cute as Pookie. You can make it say whatever you want just by speaking into this microphone. Hello, Garfield. I want to be your friend. Hello, Garfield. I want to be your friend. And there are all sorts of other commands on the controller here. Hmm. Let's see what happens when I press walk. Still not as cute as Pookie. Let's see what happens when I press dance. Nope. Maybe this button that says cuddle. Hey, let me go. Let me see. Ouch. What are you doing? Hey, one of these commands has got to be uncuddled. Whoa! Stop! Stop! Go back to cuddle! This one says stop! Oh, wow! Pookie never did that to me. Oh, boy. Oh, you're back. Like I didn't have enough bad news. What's that, boy? You found Pookie? Well, don't just stand there slobbering. Take me to him. Shh. In here? That, that, that pookie napper, that mutt took my best friend. Aww. Okay, one of my best friends, and I'm gonna get him back. <laughs> you, that's, that's my, my pookie, pookie you've got, got there. there. I, I demand that, that you return him. Huh? <laughs> I demand that you stay out of my yard. Pookie is mine now, mine. If that mutt thinks I'm giving up Pookie without a fight, he's got another thing coming. <sighs> this is called fishing for Pookie. I got a bite. Not a reeler in. Feels like Pookie's putting on a little weight. There you are, Pookie. Huh. Hello. Okay, all right, I'm trying something else. Maybe the old phony bush trick. <laughs> How much do you get for gardening work? Okay, I'm through being Mr. Nice Cat. I know how to get Pookie back. I need to find an old dress.
Where is my baby? Where is my child, Pookie? I want to find my baby. Who has him? Oh, there you are, Pookie. Well, what are you doing with that mangy dog? You should be with that nice Garfield where you belong. You're his mother? <laughs> of course I'm his m mother. Don't you see the family resemblance? I can get away with this because, as you may have noticed, dogs aren't too bright. Uh, let me take you back to Garfield, little Pookie. I'm sorry. I didn't know he was your kid, lady. I just wanted a friend. I never had one. I'm supposed to be this real tough dog scaring everyone away. Well, that's the trouble. I scare everyone away. Huh? So long, Pookie. It was nice having a friend for a little while, even if I did have to steal you. <laughs> you heard it too, huh? Yep, real sad. So I, I, I think we're gonna have to find him a friend. Yeah, it's great having you around. I never had anybody to talk to before. Boy, I used to not have one friend, and now I got three. Well, that worked out well. Can someone be friends with a useless creature that can't even think? Hey, you and I are pals, aren't we? Uh -huh. Come on, Pookie. Let's go home and see if John has lunch ready. And if you don't want yours, I'll eat it. <laughs> 